Do you want to know who the five finalists are to the night challenge? Let's get into it. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. Just before I get to the contest finalists for the night challenge, please like and subscribe. Now, the more likes I get for any given video tells me that you really like it. So if I get a lot of likes on this video, we're likely to get some more contests coming up in the near future. So I launched the night challenge three weeks ago and it closed last night. And there have been an awful lot of really, really good um, entrants. Now let's just recap what the prizes are. The winner will get a Zion Weeble S and an Ordinary Filmmaker Baseball Cap. And five runner-ups will also get an Ordinary Filmmaker Baseball Cap. So what I'm going to announce now are the finalists and everybody here is going to be guaranteed an Ordinary Filmmaker Baseball Cap which should be going out next week. So let's now talk about and announce the finalists. Now the first is Dion Carlo. Dan Carlo did a really good job. I was quite impressed with how he took a topical news item, the, the, I guess, the shortage of gasoline, the shortage of oil, the shutdown of the pipeline, and turned it into a very captivating short film. Um, I was really impressed with how this was shot, the lighting, everything about this was very captivating, and nothing was said. There was no narration, there was no voiceover in any way whatsoever. But you could tell from the images something was going on and not something good. It was something that would, well, create stress. I know if I couldn't get gasoline, it would create stress. I lived through the power outage of 2003 or 2004, where uh, much of central Canada and northeastern United States were in a blackout for about two days. So I can imagine what it's like when the lights are turned out. The second finalist, which will, who will also get an ordinary filmmaker baseball cap, is S. Brendan. I've never seen time-lapse done so well before. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I've seen time-lapse done this well before, but it's usually in one of those David Attenborough films. It's, it's very, very cinematic. He's got it from multiple angles. He's got multiple different uh, viewpoints, uh, different scenes, scenarios, and as soon as it starts up, the music, the music, well, the music's epic, and it tells you that, well, the footage is going to be epic too, and he certainly delivers. So for that, uh, you've definitely earned yourself in the finalist group. Finalist group? Who says this? Who scripts this stuff? Uh, I'm, I've been ha I had a busy day. I just shot a film for um, my, my son's um, a channel, Planet Liam, and once again I shot it in 8K. And while I can render 4K videos pretty quickly, um, 8K takes... It's like 20 times the amount of time to render and export. So I'm, I've, I've got to see if I can find a, a more efficient way of exporting um, 8K video from compressor because it is just not fast. I, I think, and of course now it's on YouTube. So we're going to have to wait a little while for YouTube to finally give me a 4K and an 8K version. But there's a standard definition. And I'm not, this time I'm not going to release the video until everything's been fully rendered. And now for our next finalist. And he won the Spring Challenge last month, or was it the month before? Now, I've been locked down for most of this year, so I really don't know what's going on outside, other than I can see it's sunny right now. And that person, that's One Shot Filmmaker. Now, this time around, One Shot Filmmaker took a different approach, and the last time it was completely, there was no voiceover. There was some nice music to it, but there's absolutely no voiceover. This time, it's like he's taken one of his favorite horror movies or horror flicks and is taken a short scene out of it and it's very captivating at first everything is very cheerful everything is very you know everything is good it's you know his child is off I think was it Haley um, no I don't think it was Haley I'm sorry I've, I've got the name wrong but she's doing her bedtime routine much like my son does and everything is going very well until it isn't and that's when and I can, I'm getting it now I'm getting the um shivers down the back of my spine and his video is very very well done and so he's definitely earned a place in the finalists and of course he's going to win an ordinary filmmaker baseball cap I think that would be two for you now uh, but again everybody I've mentioned so far has a chance at winning the Zion Weeble S. Alejandro comes in at fourth this was one of the first videos entered and it was the first to really capture my attention he starts the video off so very very well 
the tone is right, the color grading, a little bit to the sepia, the narration, it's got that perfect voice that's letting you know that something is going on and not quite right. And that foggy scene, the guys in the hoodies, the music, it's just so well done. Everything's so subtle. You know something's about to happen, that something is going on. But this one scene coming up where they're in an office, the lighting's completely changed. They're working hard. These are the hackers. These are the guys stealing people's identities. But what really gave me the shivers is right here when the girl slowly turns her head, looking, piercing right at me, just gave me the shivers. A very good video, a very solid entry by Alejandro. And next is Jonathan. I really, his really, really spoke to me. Um, I can't remember the full title, but it's to do with imposter. Whenever you started your career, whenever you started doing whatever it is you do today, did you feel like you were a bit of an imposter that you don't know what you're doing? Or still, even in your job today, do you just feel like, why are these people hiring me? I don't have the skills for this. I'm not that great. There's people that know how to do this so much better. And when I was 18, I remember I had a sort of an epiphany and I, and I realized to myself that, you know what, anything I want to do in life, I'm capable of. I just have to go out and do it. I have to get up off the couch and I have to start, which is how I started this channel. But it doesn't stop me every now and then from feeling like an imposter. So Jonathan, yeah, very good video. It spoke to me and I'm sure it's going to speak to many others. Really, really well done. And so those are the five finalists, but there's more. It was so hard to actually pick the five finalists. And what I ended up doing is selecting six. And the reason for that is uh, once I got more than five, well, I had to come up with some sort of scoring matrix because it's very hard to look at one shot filmmakers and then Jonathan's and then Alejandro and okay, well, which one's better? They're all great. And then you start to have, well, I've got 10 that are really good, and then you got more. So what I do is I look at several things. I look at the cinematic audio, the, the house, the, the appropriate, the, uh, try that again, the appropriateness of the sound, the appropriateness of the video, how it's all stitched together, how it relates to the theme that I'm trying to do. So if you didn't shoot it that night, well, you're going to score a zero there. There were several, I think I had about five or six different elements and I scored everybody and then when I got to the end of scoring everybody, there was a tie for fifth place and I thought, it's just not right. I can't, I'm not going to say, okay, well, you're the first tie so you win and the other person didn't get it. So what I've decided to do is allow for six finalists and sixth place goes to Popcorn. And I got to say, Popcorn, um, I'm glad you submitted your video because it's very, very well done. It's, it reminds me of a British sense of humor. And, and when you first watch his video, it, it doesn't look like things are going to go very well for the protagonist. It looks like things could end up not very well at all. And then almost right at the end, there's a twist and it, it's wonderful. It, it takes away that tension that's been building. So popcorn, very well done. So those are the six finalists. Everybody's guaranteed to get an Ordinary Filmmaker baseball cap, and you'll be notified by Creator Stack. And if you haven't already provided your address and information, um, you'll be asked for it very shortly. Now, there is one more thing I want to talk about, though. Um, there's many other videos that spoke to me, but I guess one that spoke to me the most, and it's too bad he couldn't make it into the six finalists, but there's just so much talent here. I could have easily allowed 10, but I'd run out of hats pretty quickly. And that's Graham. And Graham, I'm not sure if I'm enunciating your name correctly, G-R-A-E-M-E. -E. I love how you set things up. It reminds me of me trying to capture Jupiter and Saturn. And what I was planning on doing this morning, I set my alarm, I woke up, but unlike you, I kind of looked at the time, I thought like, I didn't sleep well last night, I'm going back to bed, and I'm gonna try it again tonight but the whole alarm clock going off, the same alarm sound that I have, that getting up, you're tired, you're groggy, but you want to get out there, you want to get Saturn and Jupiter. And, of course, to see that huge tree in your way, oh, that was... <laughs> I can just imagine. Uh, they're more than high enough in the sky to get some decent shots, but that tree's in the way. But your, your observatory, 
that's pretty impressive. Um, my wife would kill me if I tried to do something like that, and for good reason, because my son would be playing in the backyard and trip and probably fall and hurt himself and lose a few teeth. So I don't see myself doing that anytime soon. But I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for providing an entry into the night challenge. I'm, I'm gobsmacked at how well they are done. Uh, just, just, just amazing. And thank you each and every one of you. When I did a call to arms, I think it was on Monday, thinking like, I've only got three. This isn't looking very good. Well, I had four, but somebody had submitted the same video twice. You know who you are, Paul. And, uh, you know, very quickly they started just coming in like crazy. And <laughs> I, was, I was just amazed at the talent you guys have. Um, for some of you, this was the first time you tried shooting at night. Do more of it. Get out there. Don't wait for me to challenge you. Let the challenge, let the challenge come from internally. Listen to your inner muse and get out there. Use your camera in the best way that you can. Try different things because everybody that submitted here tonight tried something new, tried something different. So once again, thank you so much. But that is it for now. Now, what's, here's where we stand right now. I've already provided the links to Jordan Drake at DP Review, and he's excited to take a look at each of these entries. And then what he's going to do is he's going to pick the winner, and he's going to give me a video blurb. And I said, look, you know what? Be Use that time as you want. I don't care if it's 30 seconds. I don't care if it's 30 minutes. You've got carte blanche. Go ahead and give us your opinion and then come back to us with a winner. And then what I'm going to do is going to wrap that in a video of my own. I'll go through, once again, the, fi the, the contestants very briefly because, well, not everyone's going to watch this video. I mean, after all, if I've got a video with Jordan Drake in it, more people are going to watch it, right? As opposed to this one here. So I will announce the five finals, I'll cover it off, and then Jordan will give his piece, and then I'll give you some more details on when you can expect to get the prizes. Um, I'm just, <laughs> this is amazing. I don't know how many contests and challenges I've done now, and I, I really do love them. But thank you so much for contributing. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment section down below. But that is it for now. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win two Angelbird 128 gigabyte AV Pro MK2 B90 SD cards, along with a dual UHS-2 card reader, also from Angelbird. Or you could win a Ulanzi LED light package with accent lights, underwater lights, and various other flat panel lights to light your subject. There's a great starter kit for someone starting their own channel. And if you do want to help support this channel, thank you. Uh, please use my affiliate links when you're purchasing gear to at B&H or Amazon, or consider buying an Ordinary Filmmaker baseball cap like this one for $34.99 at OrdinaryFilmmaker.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.